hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl chef rambo i'm back with another banging recipe for y'all let's go ahead and hop into it y'all so today i'm gonna be making homemade chicken broccoli rice and cheese casserole just like your grandmama used to make let's go ahead and get into this recipe y'all you're gonna need broccoli nor rice you're gonna need some plain bread crumbs you're gonna need two cans of soup cream of mushroom and cream of chicken you're gonna need two types of cheeses Kobe Jack and mild cheddar. You're going to need six seasonings and you're going to want to make sure you chop up your chicken uh, tenderloins that are boneless and skinless. Okay. So the first thing is first, go ahead and open your rice. Once you get your two packages of rice open and placed into your dish, you're going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of cream of chicken soup. You are also going to add some chicken stock and a little bit of this country crock butter, about two tablespoons. So you're going to go ahead and take the chicken stock. You're going to fill up the cans of soup um, with the chicken stock, and then you're going to pour that on top. And then you're going to also get you something to stir with, whether it be a utensil, fork, or a spoon and mix everything up so it looks like this and y'all do not worry i know y'all probably like that looks like throw up <laughs> trust the process baby it's gonna be real good at the end okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab our chicken that we went ahead and cut up into like little cubes or whatever and we're gonna go ahead and put that right on top gonna also use that same spoon and mix up everything trust me in the end guys everything is gonna come together so nicely y'all are gonna forget that it just looked like mush okay so we're gonna go ahead and add our frozen broccoli I went ahead and get the bro I, I go ahead and get the broccoli that already has cheese on it just to add an extra layer of cheese to this dish and like I said I will have all the seasonings in the description box for you guys um, I'm using six different seasonings okay we're gonna be using two different types of shredded cheese Colby Jack and mild cheddar um, I'm gonna start off with the Colby Jack first and then after I do the Colby Jack I'm gonna add um, a little bit of that mild cheddar you guys can use whatever kind of cheese you want and then I'm gonna take some of those breadcrumbs and just sprinkle those um, right on top of our casserole oh my gosh this looks fire we're gonna let this cook in the oven on 350 for about 50 minutes to one hour and you want to make sure you cover it with some aluminum foil and then after you cook it with the aluminum foil put it back into the oven for an additional 15 minutes uncovered okay this is how your delicious chicken broccoli rice and cheese casserole should look oh my gosh you guys i have not cooked this in so long this was so freaking fire look at that broccoli and that cheese look how nice and steamy it is Oh my gosh, y'all. This looks fire. Fire, fire, fire. And if you guys do not like mushrooms, you guys can always opt out to use the cream of mushroom. And you can always use cream of celery or another um, can of cream of chicken. But this is what the inside looks like, you guys. I told y'all that that mushy throw up looking stuff was going to look good in the end. Y'all just had to trust the process, okay? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Easy, breezy Sunday dinner mid-afternoon snack weekday dinner super easy super quick and you guys literally probably have all these ingredients laying around in your house y'all sorry i gotta go i got food to eat but in the meantime make sure you like and subscribe and leave me a comment bye y'all